I know you've seen them, those eerie, hyper-realistic monster videos that are blowing up all over social media. There's even a big YouTuber who's using these visuals to promote his own music and it's blowing up with hundreds of thousands of views on each video. I got really curious about how he's doing it and went down the rabbit hole to figure it out for myself. So today I'll walk you through everything I learned from the tools and prompts to specific techniques so you can start making your own viral monster videos. Alright, the first piece of the puzzle is generating the image. You could go with deep sea creatures like a giant octopus or a monstrous crab or even create alien looking beings that don't exist anywhere in the natural world. Or do they? We're going for something that grabs people's attention. In a second, I'll show you the exact prompt I use plus a secret trick to come up with endless prompts. Out of all the image generators I've tried, Mid Journey got me closest to that hyper realistic uncertainty settling style that you see in those videos and here are some prompt examples but don't feel limited to just these i've put together a whole list of other prompts that you can use they're all available for free on my patreon so feel free to check them out if you need some inspiration and if you want even more variations just paste the prompt into chat gpt and tell it using the following prompt generate five prompt variations in the same visual style but with different creatures that way you will get a whole range of ideas without changing the overall vibe. And if you ever come across a style online that you want to replicate, you can feed that image into ChatGPT and ask what prompt was used to generate this image. It will give you a close match that you can tweak to your liking. Before generating, let's quickly talk about some of the settings in Mid Journey. You can adjust the aspect ratio depending on where you're posting the video. And here is a little pro tip. Use the weirdness setting to make your monsters even creepier. If your creature doesn't look eerie enough, bumping up the weirdness can bring out those unsettling details that make it stand out. After you enter your prompt, you will get four image options. If none of them look quite right, you can rerun the prompt until you get a version that you like. And if you see one that you love, you can click here to upscale it to get a higher quality version. And hey, if you're finding these tips helpful so far and want more content on you using AI creatively, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so once you've got your image, you're ready for the next step. We're going to take that still image and turn it into a video. And no, it's not as straightforward as just pressing a button. There is a specific approach to getting it to look real. So let me walk you through the options. And once we get this monster video going, I'll show you how to enhance its overall quality and bring out even more intricate details. I've tried several of the popular AI image to video tools. Each one has a different style, but the trick here is getting that raw handheld camera feel like someone's actually filming this creature. For instance, Dream Machine gives a really clean look but the camera movement is often too smooth. It's still good but not the best option if you're aiming for that handheld shaky camera effect. Runway ML's Gen 3 does a pretty good job with realistic camera movement but the one tool that tends to give the most natural look is Kling AI. In a second, I'll show you how I use it to get that lifelike feel. And if you're interested in a deeper dive, I have an another video where I break it down and compare these tools in detail. To use Kling AI, first go to AI video, choose image to video, here upload your mid journey image, below that you can enter a prompt, and here is a tip, use the exact same prompt you used to generate the original image. I've also tried leaving the prompt blank and it can work but results are hit or miss so just keep that in mind. I noticed that adding handheld camera shake either alone or with the original prompt can make a huge difference. I usually get decent results without having to play with the remaining settings but feel free to experiment and then simply click on generate. Now keep in mind it might take a few tries to get it just right. Okay, once you're happy with your eerie monster video, you might want it to look sharper, especially if you're planning to post it on YouTube or somewhere else where viewers could be watching on a big screen. You want to make sure viewers can see those intricate, creepy details. Here's what you should do. Use an upscaling tool such as Topaz Video AI. It's super simple but makes a huge difference. It lets you upscale to higher resolution such as 4K and 8K and it's a great way to make sure your monster visuals look crisp crisp and detailed. If you have any questions or requests for other tutorials, do let me know in the comments below. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.